Earlier this year I was invited to be the artist in residence at Fairbridge Festival, the first artist in residence. And uh, while that sounds rather posh for me, artist in residence, I agreed. And uh, was quite excited at the prospect because uh, some might suggest foolishly, I suggest that I should in the three days, over the three days of the festival, paint a large painting, this painting, write a piece of music and uh, have my wife Julie document all of this on video and present this on the Sunday night of the festival. Um, challenging to say the least, but also exciting. So off we went to Fairbridge. I'm ashamed to admit that I've never been to Fairbridge Festival before. So I really had no idea what was going to happen there or how this image and or the music would um, eventuate. So Friday was spent um, having a good look around the Fairbridge Festival as people were coming in and setting up and all the food vans and the stalls, the musicians, and just trying to get the lay of the land and looking at this semi-rural landscape that was gradually being filled. And that was terrific, except that Friday suddenly became Saturday. And there I was, Saturday, late morning, lunchtime, standing on the veranda with my easel and my canvas, and one of the visitors came up to see how I was going and asked me what the plan was, and I said, well, Sunday night, tomorrow night, this painting is going to be on show along with a video and a piece of music. And he said, he pointed out to me that I hadn't actually started and he was right. And that's when the panic started to set in, about lunchtime Saturday. Also, I'm used to working in my studio on my own in a fairly insular environment. The Fairbridge situation meant that Julie and I would be living in a cottage with several other families. In fact, thousands of people appeared to be living in this one building with us, which um, added another level of challenge. Um, in the end, a good one, because we happened to be living with some fantastically talented musicians and their wonderful families. So at the end of the weekend, we all ended up good mates and we had a fantastic time. So I decided um, to try and uh, summarise some of the elements at Fairbridge Festival in the painting. Um, and people have pointed out since I finished the piece that this actually looks like a figure. Uh, some say an Aboriginal figure. Um, if that's the case, it's purely by chance, but I'm quite happy with that as a result because um, we were in uh, Noongar land and if that looks a bit Aboriginal, that's absolutely fine with me. But this is made up of the wristbands that everybody wears at Fairbridge Festival. Um, and the different type of wristbands, different colours, different patterns, uh, designate your position there. You're an artist or staff, visitor. And I thought they were a good representation of all the stalls and the, uh, the food vans um, as you enter the, the, uh, the property and drive along the main drag. Um, these areas here also represent the decorated trees, both real and sculpted trees on the property, which I found quite intriguing. And I also wanted to represent the day and the night, because a lot, of course, happens at night over there, and there were some beautiful um, projections on some of the trees um, that I found intriguing. The music part of this was pretty difficult because Really, I had to uh, spend most of my time on the painting and consider the music as well. And to be fair, to say that I wrote a piece of music is probably pushing my luck a little. Because in essence, what I did was sampled some of the other music that was being played around the festival, some of my house guests. As it happens, I had fantastic, famous, very famous house guests living with me. We had Andrew Winton and his beautiful family. Um, we had Rod Vervest, 
uh, from Pepper Jacks, of course, and he is now the new artistic director for next year, starting next year. And also in our little cottage, we had uh, Richard Eggleston and um, Mouse Princess, interesting name, interesting lady. So it was all happening. But what I did really was um, plagiarise these people and take little bits of their music and try and stitch it together uh, by playing a bit of a horn line over it. Yeah, composition, I don't know. So somehow we made it over the line and everybody seemed reasonably happy. I was happy and I want to personally thank the Fairbridge Festival community and committee for that invitation and for showing Julie and I such a fantastic weekend and we look forward to getting back there next year.